Right now, there are many ways to support Black Lives Matter, but I want to talk about protesting. Research shows that nonviolent protests are highly effective, while violent protests harm the movement. And it doesn't even always matter who started the violence. The research, recently by Black African Princeton researcher Omar Wasau and Rob Willer of Stanford University, who looks white, states that extreme or violent protests are not effective, especially when it comes to shifting the vote. For one thing, the majority of people in society do not witness protests firsthand. They just see what the media shows them. A violent protest is more dramatic and will attract more viewers, i.e. make more money, and so news outlets overrepresent violence. Viewers who are less radical, aka the ones who are not protesting, are less likely to identify with the images of these extreme protests. Unfortunately, most people want to conform. So while a peaceful protest keeps the focus on racial injustice, a violent protest centers the need for order and control. Studies show that spotlighting injustice will activate more left-leaning white voters, while a perceived lack of control and order will boost the numbers for white, right-leaning voters. Some experts believe that this is what cost former United States VP and Alpha Phi Alpha member Hubert Humphrey the election to Richard Nixon in 1968. TLDR, peaceful protests will hurt Trump at the polls, while violent protests will help him. Research shows that when cops get violent and protesters remain peaceful, racial injustice is still the story. But when protesters react violently, even in self-defense, the story shifts and media coverage focuses on the need to suppress riots. Remember, it is the media coverage of protests that influences public opinion and voters, not the protests themselves. This explains why cops everywhere are either inciting violence to get a reaction from the crowd or kneeling with protesters. It's all about the narrative they want the media to disseminate. Police want riots because riots undermine our goal. But a lot of this research is based either on studies of the protest of the 1960s or test subjects' feelings about hypothetical scenarios in 2017. The impact of social media is unclear. While my feeds on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, and even the news, are flooded with images of police clearly inciting violence against peaceful protesters, that's my feed. I follow people who agree with me. What are those on the other side seeing and sharing? What's their reality? I'm very interested in the practice of virtual protesting as a way to counter the silo effect that social media has and share realities. 